You know, I've tried so hard to be the guy that you all wanted me to be. This shining star, this guy that could go on to do great things, you know, be the breakout star that you all voted me to be. But what happens? I take on guys like Blake Payne, and everybody goes, oh, Blake's gonna win. Vasco doesn't stand a chance. I take on guys like Evan Poland, and suddenly, I'm an afterthought. And I'm starting to get a little bit sick of it. This tournament, I'm gonna make sure that the one name on everybody's lips is Vasco Cortez Jr. Because you've got guys like Aaron Bailey, a man who's a great person to beat, former IC champion, has had a series of fantastic matches against Ryan Shamrock. You've got a guy like B. Akira who's a member of Empire, and look, I might not like Blake Payne, but he does surround himself with really, really interesting and really, really talented people. An Empire is a, a group that Blake cherishes. So by beating one of them, you're basically beating him. And then there's Stanley Owens. A man who we haven't seen since Invictus. Who took his ball and went home. Look, I can sit here and I can say that Stanley, you are one of the best people to ever step foot in CEW. But I need this win. There are three points on the line, and there is a chance to become the world's heavyweight champion on the line. And I'm not going to rest until I beat you. I'm not going to rest until your shoulders are on that mat. Because you don't understand what I need and what I'm going to do. You want to talk about how you had everything taken away from you? In the space of about seven months, nobody cares about me anymore. And that, that's big fuel to get me through this entire tournament. Just you will wait and see. Yeah, I've been MIA for a while. Do you want to know why? Because getting screwed out of being world's heavyweight champion fucking sucks. That's why. I mean, there's nothing I could have said, nothing I could have done that would have made anything better. I could have asked for my rematch, but we all know that Bob has a trick up his sleeve, and you know how he loves to say how he does stuff down the middle, and he, he does things fairly, but let's never forget how he became world's heavyweight champion. And all I can think of in my head is how Trent was screwed, I was screwed, <laughs> you know, Jason Campos was screwed out of the world championship, and it was all a ploy from the get-go, and it just... It has never sat right with me ever since Invictus. So rather than being annoyed, rather than being angry, I did what any justified man would do, and that's beat the fuck out of Johnny Hercule. Now, unfortunately, that did lead to me getting fined and suspended. It doesn't matter. I had world championship money at that time, so, you know, it didn't really matter. But what it has meant is that I haven't had time to get back on track. And I haven't had time to remind the world why I am the best wrestler in CEW. But this tournament allows me to do exactly that. And my block, they're all branding me the most wanted, you know? It, it, on the wanted posters, I'm worth the most, apparently. Because I'm the only one in my block that's held the World's Heavyweight Championship. But I want you all to know that you're younger than me. So therefore, you should want this more than I do. But none of you do. And that's the thing. None of you know what it's like to have that championship ripped away from you. None of you know what it's like to be at the top of the mountain and then have everybody preying on your downfall. None of you know what it's like to have your livelihood, to have your dream taken away from you. And in the X-Factor tournament, all of you are going to understand what happens when a man who has all of that taken away from him gets one more shot to prove himself. One more shot to right the wrongs. Be Akira, 
I'm sorry that Empire selected you because you are going to get your shit rocked. Aaron Bailey, I respect you a ton. You came in, you won the IC title, about the I've won and about the I helped elevate to the level it's at now. But you are not ready to be world's heavyweight champion. And then there's my first opponent, Vasco Cortez Jr. Now I could sit here and I could praise you because you have done a lot for CEW. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay silent. And you're going to see exactly what I'm capable of and what I'm working towards and how I feel right now in our match. That's all I'm going to say. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard the fighting talk and now the time for talk is over. And it's time to fight. Welcome to the second half of the first round of the X Factor tournament. And we are kicking off tonight in a big, big way as making his way down to the ring, the former World's Heavyweight Champion, Stanley Owens. And we, we've heard everybody say it. He is the big bounty of the men's B block. But to be fair, he would probably be the big bounty of any block he's in. Former World's Heavyweight Champion, former Intercontinental Champion, former Television Champion, Dominant Reigns is all free, and a man who shows no mercy, and tonight he has said that he is more hungry for an opportunity than ever, and that does not bode well for his opponent here tonight, but this is also somebody who is chomping at the bit for an opportunity, as it is Vasco... Cortez Jr. And here's the thing, you know, we, we've seen Vasco kind of climb the ranks, you know, he, he was male breakout star of the year last year. He was also one third of debut of the year. And now, you know, he, he's kind of been on the losing end recently, you know, he wasn't able to beat Blake, he wasn't able to qualify for the IC title ladder match, and... We kind of saw the frustration come out in Vasco after that, and it sounds like that frustration has not left him. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens when we get these two frustrated men in the ring, and there is a potential World Heavyweight Championship spot uh, shot on the grandest stage in Mall Kingdom of Glory. You know, this is going to be a fight for the ages. We already know that B Akira is currently leading B Block with three points. But here we go. Oh, and now look at this. Oh, oh, look at that. These two starting off with strikes and shots as you would expect here. Oh, look at this. Vasco. Oh, went for it. Couldn't quite get it. And now look at this. Stanley going in with the ground and the pound. That is textbook Stanley Owens. This man, he will throw you around. He will punch you and he will strike you to his heart's content. And now what's he looking to do? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, went to drop the knee. But Vasco to get out of the way. And that is very good if you are the bull, if you are Vasco Cortez Jr., Because especially early on, you know, we know Stanley sometimes goes for those daredevil maneuvers. There's that neck breaker there. What? Oh, not even a one. We know that Stanley sometimes risks it. Oh, it doesn't always pay off. Oh, but there's a knee right to the jaw. Oh, but now look at that. Vasco up to his feet. And now look at this. Oh, the combination. Oh, now Stanley back up to his feet with a double axe handle. And these two are going crazy to start things off. What a lariat right there. And now we hold on. Oh, the DDT as well. Vasco struggling right now with Stanley imposing his will. Power bomb coming in. One. Two. Only, only a one there. 
And this is where things get a little bit crazy. It has gone to the outside and this could go in either man's direction here. That's now in a Stanley just throwing wild shots. And now what's he looking to do? Power slam position into the backbreaker. And that's the thing, man. Stanley, you know, we, we talk about guys like Trent X and Braxton Myers being strong guys. And that is true. All going after the arm. You want to talk about a man who has just brute strength. That is Stanley Owens as he hits a power slam on the outside. And I've got to say, over the years, the body transformation of Stanley Owens is, uh, is something to admire, to be honest. This is a guy who has gotten himself into phenomenal shape over the years and now still going after the arm of Vasco Cortez Jr. which is very smart considering one of Vasco's best moves is that running forearm that corkscrew forearm and now look at this Vasco back in the ring and oh he's yelling at him oh and here we go I was wondering when this was going to happen these two are about to go chop for chop right here. Oh, now look at this. Oh, Vasco swinging around. Oh, now look at this. The knees to the gut. He had the advantage, and he is going to take advantage of that. Sending Stanley into the corner, and there's a running knee. And another one right to the jaw. And now, oh, no. Stanley on the outside, and Vasco with that dive to the outside. Now, look at this. Hold on. What's Vasco looking to do? Oh, there's the corkscrew forearm. Already out of the gate. We're not even four minutes in, and Vasco is looking to put this away. He might have just knocked out Stanley. One, two, no. Suddenly, the momentum and the pace of this match has just changed. Vasco is now looking to put this matchup away as quickly as humanly possible. And now, wait, hold on. Stanley, what's he looking for? Oh, wait, hold on. The, the choke bomb. One, two. Kick out there from Vasco. But once again, that is a testament to the strength of Stanley Owens. He made that look easy. He made that look effortless. And now sending Vasco into the corner. Oh, and now look at this. In come those clubbing shots. Perhaps trying to knock out Vasco. Both of these men looking for the quick victory. Oh my god, that boot to the jaw. One, two, no. And these two are showcasing to the world what they're capable of. Oh, oh, oh. Vasco with a rake to the eyes, into the neck breaker. And this is what I what I mean. By recently, Vasco has been getting more and more frustrated. The eye rake into the roll-up. One. Oh, but look at that. Reverse by Stanley. One. Oh, reverse by Vasco. One. Two. No. And again, it's this frustration on the part of Vasco Cortez Jr. that has been brewing more and more as, as, he, as, he, as, he, as he takes more losses, it seems. And not being able to put Stanley away, it seems to be affecting him here as he's going for the Fujiwara. Stanley is bleeding now. And we are only six minutes into this matchup. Look at that. Stanley clutching at his arm. And now into a neck breaker. Vasco trying to escape. But Stanley not going to let that happen. Elbow drop right to the back. And once again, Vasco tried rolling to the outside. Stanley not going to give him room to breathe. And there's the one punch. One. Two. Vasco able to stay alive. Very rare you see that. It is very rare that you see a man survive the one punch. Oh, but now look at this. Stanley. Oh, wait. Hold on. 
Stanley perhaps getting a little frustrated, just ramming Vasco's head into the turnbuckle. Now we're just stomping away on him, and now once again going after the arm of Vasco. It really feels like we're seeing a different side of Stanley Owens here. Cloverleaf locked in with the knee on the back as well, talking on it. And this is not what we're used to see. Like, I, I'm not used to this when it comes to Stanley. Like, sure he's aggressive, sure he has intensity. But he's never usually like this. But that one moment of separation could be what Vasco needed. He's already hit the forearm. And now he's going to prove to the world that when you mess with a bull, you get the horns. And look at this. He's trying to put Stanley away. One, two, no. Stanley stays alive. One of Vasco's best shots. Couldn't put him away just yet. And now, wait, hold on. Oh, big runner from the top. Vasco showing his fight here tonight, but so is Stanley running knee, creating separation. And now, oh wait, hold on, got him caught. Gut wrench. And now in this, Vasco actually, oh wait, hold on, he was trying to escape, but he's in the corner, which is not where you want to be, because in comes Stanley with these big shots once again. Oh my god. Stanley Owens, he is pissed, and now look at this, the backbreaker. Oh, wait, hold on, wait. There's two. Oh, the trifecta. You can see it there. I don't know, that, that was a, a look that we don't usually see from Stanley. That, that looked like he was pissed off. Oh, my God. Stanley. Bro, there's no need. Six backbreakers. Vasco showing defiance. He's still getting up. But oh my god, no. Stanley, come on. Oh my god, he's gonna... He is going to take Vasco out of this tournament at this rate. Oh my god, the one punch. Oh my god, wait, no, no, Stanley. Oh, he's faked the world out. He's not going for the one punch again. Rolls him up, schoolboy. Power bomb right on the back. One, two. Stanley Owens picks up three points here tonight. And officially, I, I get what he means by this is a Stanley Owens we've never seen before. This is a Stanley Owens that is hungry. To get another shot at the world's championship. And the walking finisher does it again as we move on to some pre-match interviews. Kimberly had Daniel talk for her. Luna had psychosis. B had Alex. And a lot of people probably thought I was going to have Charlotte Yuri speak for me. But, but no. Because for once in my life... I am doing this all by myself. I'm still a part of Control Atav, and this is still about making sure that we have the stranglehold on this company. But when you think about it, this tournament allows us to control the Kingdom of Glory 2 main event. If I win, which is going to be easy looking at my opponents, you know, you've got Alice Redson, Sure, she's a, a workhorse. Sure, she's done a lot. But she just lost a women's IC title. Chip on her shoulder. And I'll break that shoulder in two. Quite simply. You've got Luna Olsen who's just lost a network championship. And no matter how much Dr. Victor Psychosis claimed that he's upgraded her. She's still the same old monster that can be beaten. And then there's Sienna Payne. Who. You. Slammed my head into a ladder and then you got your ass kicked by usha falls i'm gonna beat all three of you i'm gonna win this whole thing which i know everybody's saying but if you're not here to win them why are you here 
and I'm going to go on to Kingdom of Glory 2, and I'll fight the Women's World Champion, who will be Usha Falls. Because this isn't your company anymore, people. This is Controller Tav's company, and you're all working for it. You're all going to be controlled by us, and Alice Redson is the first person on my hit list. So Alice, I hope you're ready. I hope you've healed up your pride from losing it down in flames. Because if you haven't, this will be the easiest win of my life. So I hope you're ready. A lot of people are looking at what I did with the women's IC title. And they're calling it a blunder. They're calling it Icarus flying too close to the sun. And whilst I agree that, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have took on as many defenses as I did in such a short amount of time, it was called making a statement. Holding that championship isn't just about holding the championship, it's about the legacy that you leave behind when you lose that championship. I defended that belt more than anybody else that's ever held that championship. I proved to the world that the workhorses can exist within the women's division. And that got heard by CEW management. And I'm here to fight for the X Factor tournament. For the shot at the Women's World Championship. And look, I know a lot of people are going to say that my pride is hurt from losing to Christina Dean. And I'd be lying if I said that it didn't hurt a little bit. But the thing is, and the thing that I need everybody to remember, is that this tournament is five matches. This tournament is five matches between me and Kingdom of Glory 2. And how many times did I defend the women's IC title? Well, I didn't win all five, but I defended it five times in quick succession. This isn't going to be about how much can I endure. No, it's going to be about how much can my opponents endure. Because I know I can go on to each match match by match and I will still be able to wrestle the same way that I did in match one in match five. I know I have what it takes to be the workhorse of this tournament. But do I, does everybody else? Like I'm not I'm not gonna fault anybody. I mean you know we got Sienna Payne in this tournament in my block, you know, somebody who I've never crossed paths with and somebody who I'd love to wrestle and you know we're finally gonna get that shot. But then we have Alexis Nova, a member of Controller Tav, and obviously those, uh, you know, they're working with the Violent Regime, and the Violent Regime took the belt from me, so Alexis, you can expect a little bit of redemption coming your way. And then there's Luna Olsen, who has the size and the strength advantage over everybody in this tournament, but it's not about the size of the dog in the fight, you know, you know the phrase. I know I have what it takes to win this tournament. I know that I can go the distance. And I'm going to do exactly that. So to everybody else, bring your A-game. I want to see your best. Because I'm bringing mine. And then we'll see who truly is the best in this women's division. Well, once again, the time for talk is over. But, uh... Very interesting words there from both Alexis Nova and Alice Redson. Nova almost considering it a foregone conclusion that she's going to win this whole tournament. Considering it a foregone conclusion that Usher is going to win the Women's World Championship. And calling this place Controller Tav's company. This is, uh... This is definitely a more focused Alexis Nova than we've seen over the years, you know? She's been a part of Controller Tav for a while, but it, it's never quite landed. It, it feels like she's been almost complacent in her role. And now, now it feels as though the gloves are off. And tonight is the night that we might be starting to see a bit of a different side to one of the uh, OG Controller Tav members, I guess you could say. But it is going to be a very, very tough task for Alexis Nova here tonight. Because she has taken on a former 
Women's Intercontinental Champion. In fact, the last Women's Intercontinental Champion. Before Christina Dean, it is Alice Redson. And Alice has been climbing up the ranks over the years. You know, she, she came in and immediately started beef with, uh, with Elizabeth Payne. And then that led to her becoming the Women's Intercontinental Champion. And well, tonight, Alice Redson looks to take one step closer to not getting the women's IC title back, but becoming potentially women's world champion. And now look at this. Okay, a little collar and elbow to start. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, no, Nova went for a big shot there. Now, wait, hold on. Oh, oh went for the drop kick. Couldn't quite get it, though. Oh, but now look at that back elbow into the Lou Fez press coming in from Redson. It's going to be very interesting to see how Alice works after, of course, losing to Christina Dean in a great matchup at Down in Flames. And now, wait, hold on. Oh, wait, wait, Alice. Alice, what are you doing? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, went for the diving headbutt. Couldn't get it, and now the power bomb on the outside. Here's the thing, we saw how well aggression works in a tournament like this. Just ask Stanley Owens, I, I still can't believe. It, it, it felt like we witnessed Stanley Owens become unglued throughout those, those near 10 minutes that he was in the ring tonight. Very, very interesting to uh, keep an eye on us right now. What on earth is Alexis Nova looking to do? Oh, wait, hold on. Perhaps thinking count out. I'm not sure. Oh, wait, hold on. She's telling Alice to get back into the ring. And here's the thing. We haven't had somebody go for a count out victory yet in this tournament. But you want to conserve energy. Especially in a block like this when you've got Luna Olsen and Sienna Payne to think about. But right now, Alexis Nova going crazy. She is going after the legs. She is wearing down Alice Redson. And again, again, right? Like, these technical wrestlers, these wrestlers that target limbs, they are going to be the biggest problem of this entire tournament. Because if you pick up even a minor injury in your first matchup, how bad is that going to be for your future? Come here, one. Oh, only a one. Only a one. How bad is that going to be for the f your, your future within this tournament? Because you've got to think about it. Oh, nice shoulder breaker. And Alice Redson trying to fight back here. And look at that. Oh, the corkscrew sent on. Yeah, you've got to think about it from the sense of like, well, oh, double axe handle. You've got to think about it from the sense of picking up even like the smallest of injuries. Especially in your first match in this tournament. Could be a death sentence for the rest of this. And speaking of potential injuries. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Fisherman Buster. Shout outs to Christina Dean. And that's mind games right there on the part of Alexis Nova. But again, speaking of injuries. Um, we, uh, we obviously did hear the news about Amara Levi picking up a minor injury against... Kimberly Casanova, she said that she's good to compete. Doctors will check up on her before the second round. But of course, that is uh, not good. Even going into uh, the next round, we're even, even the slightest bit injured is right now. Look at this. Alexis Nova is just having her way right now. This is what we call focus. This is what we call... Being able to, you know, just control a situation. Oh, wait, hold on. Diving headbutt. Alice using the fact that Alexis Nova was gloating for too long there. To her advantage. And now look at this. Oh, wait, Alice over the drop toe hold. And now, oh, look at this. Bringing that aggression, bringing that intensity. And side Russian leg sweep. 
Now looking for that corkscrew sent on once again. And look at that, just flawlessly done on the part of Alice Redson. Now, wait, hold on, I'll wait. Oh, takes down Nova into the cover. One, two, no. Relatively weak kick out as, as well there from Nova. Perhaps she didn't need to put a lot of effort into it. I don't know, but... Oh, wait, hold on, Nova. Oh, wait, hold on. Tell her to bring it. Big chop to the chest. And now look at this, just bringing the shots. Oh, kick to the gut, though. Now look at this, bringing the shots herself. Alexis Nova going crazy. The knee to the jaw. And now, wait, look at this. The exploder suplex as well. Into the senton. And this really has been... The Alexis Nova show so far. Oh, the stomp to the chest as well. Now wait, hold on, Nova. Oh, the knee. Poison Rana. Spiking Redson. One, two, no. And man, Nova looks pissed, but you know what? You can't afford to take too long. Oh, the senton from the top rope. Going after the... Oh, my God. Targeting the ribs. Targeting the, the, the chest of Alice Redson. And, hey, we want to talk about injuries. If Alice were to pick up a rib injury in this matchup, that would be devastating for the rest of this tournament. You don't get a chance to breathe. Oh, wait, hold on. But Alice back up to her feet. Into the double axe handle. There's another one. And now what on earth is Alice looking to do? Oh, wait, hold on. The STO. And now look at this. Stalking her prey. Stalking Alexis Nova. And now going in combination. And now Alice. Look at her strength with the power bomb. Sitting down on it. One, two, no. Not able to get this done just yet. But now what on earth is Alice looking to do? Seven minutes into this matchup. And all oh, the missile drop kick from the top to the outside. Now look at this, Alice. Oh, wait, going crazy. Side Russian leg sweep. Oh, into the steps. That's revenge for earlier. And now look at this. Oh, wait, hold on, Alice. Oh, going after the leg as well. I think Alice is realizing, hey, I've got, I've got to play Nova our own game here. But, oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. The poison runner on the outside. And Nova. Perhaps going to take the count out victory here. Referee at six. Oh, but Alice is stirring. And I don't think. Oh, wait. Oh, and Nova realizes it. But she's not going to go out of the ring. Alice gets back in. And the fight is on once again. Oh, basement drop kick. And the crowd is becoming unglued for Alice Redson right here. Oh, wait, oh, look at that pixie ankle. Slams down Nova's head. And now, oh, wait, hold on. Alice. Oh, with the suplex. With a very quick snap on that suplex as well. Oh, with the splash off the top. Alice going wild right now into the cover. One, two, no. And it feels as though, despite the fact that Nova has done a lot, neither woman really has an advantage so far into that neck breaker there from Alice Redson. Alice is trying to turn it around. 
Trying to have that momentum, trying to have that advantage. Now wait. Oh, stomping on the arm. Oh wait, hold on, Alice. Oh, what's she looking for? Oh wait, hold on. Oh, Impaler DDT. One, two, no. Nova just able to kick out. And this is starting to get crazy. This is starting to get wild. Oh, went for the elbow. But Nova was just starting to get up. And now what's she looking to do? Sending Alice into the corner. There's that forearm again. Now once again, just going to work on the chest. Nova clearly had a strategy. And now I have no idea what she's looking to do here. She took a moment on the outside, perhaps trying to compose herself, trying to figure out what she can do in the moment. And right now, it's just a case of wearing down Alice Redson. Now, what on earth are we about to see? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, going after the back. This has been a textbook way. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, wait, Nova. Oh! Went for like a corkscrew sent on. But caught Poltergeist from Redson. One, two, no. We are now 11 minutes into this matchup. And it feels like the momentum might have just switched into the favor of Alice Redson here tonight. Oh, look at that. Big boot right there. Oh, into the takedown. And now what on earth is Nova looking to do? Oh, look at that shot to the knee. And now, oh, wait, hold on. Got Alice caught in the triangle. Triangle choke applied. And this is not where you want to be if you're Alice Redson. The damage to the chest. The damage to just... A lot of the body so far. It's probably already difficult to breathe. You've been wrestling for nearly 12 minutes at this point. A triangle at this late stage could put the matchup away, to be completely honest with you. But Alice is fighting. You know, she she's a workhorse. Her run with the women's IC title proved that. But right now, Alice has to fight her way free. And she is doing that. Slowly but surely. No way. Oh, DDT! One, two, no! What is it going to take to put one of these two away? That is the real question here. Oh, no. And for a third time. Oh, there's that poison runner! And that might be the beginning of the end for Alice Redson. Nova going up top. Looking for it. Nova bomb. Oh, look at that. Clutching at the ribs. Maybe a moment of hesitation. Two. Alice stays alive. And Alexis Nova cannot believe it. Look at this. All went for something. That big shoulder tackle separation on the part of Alice Redson. Oh, but now look at this. The kicks to the hamstring, especially this late on. That's also going to be incredibly effective. Nova trying to take this into the late stages of this matchup. I mean, we are already nearly 14 minutes into this match. Look at that big shot. And now, wait, hold on, Alice. Impale the DDT. One, two, no. What will it take? Who is going to get the win here tonight? I have no idea, but these two are putting on an insane performance here tonight. Oh, but now look at that. Once again, picks the ankle. And this could be Alice's moment. Neck breaker. 
And now lining up the shot. Could be Thing and Poltergeist once again as she can hit this. It's overall oh, nobody elbow to the knee. And now wait, hold on. Nova with the cover. One. Oh, kick out a one there from Redson. That's crazy. But now look at this. Nova trying to go for the Nova Bomb. But couldn't hit it though. Redson had it scouted and now is looking to put this away potentially. Into the clothesline. And now look at this. Redson trying to go up top. But Nova not going to let that happen. And now drives her down into the map. And immediately, look at that, goes in with the grapple. This has been an, an, ex a, a, an exceptionally good match right here. Went for the Nova Bomb, couldn't get it though. And now Alice. Poltergeist coming in. One, two, how the hell? Nova stays alive. No, wait, hold on. Oh, the shoulder tackle. Redson realizing it is going to take everything that she has to put this away. Elbow right to the heart. Into the splash off the apron. You can see it there. Alice clutching at her ribs as well. This fight has taken a lot out of both of them. Now look at that. Oh wait, hold on. Picks the ankle again. And now perhaps thing in the neck breaker on the outside. Now wait, hold on. Alice. Some of the runner off the apron this time. Referee at six. But Alice not done. She doesn't want to come this far just to get a count out victory. Hits the dive. Here's the thing. I don't often say this because I don't want to jinx it. These two have to be incredibly wary of the time they have left. Oh, wait, hold on. No, not again. Oh, my God. On the outside again. And I'll wait. Nova. Nova bomb to the outside. Are you kidding me? Now look at this. Nova trying to drag her back into the ring. Well, I don't know how much energy either of these two have left to be completely honest with you. Lufez Press. They have been wrestling for almost a full 20 minutes at this point. Once again, Alice rib first. Into those steel steps. The referee at seven, but hold on. Nova not done. Oh, the forearm, but you could see it there just... These two barely have any energy left at this point. Oh, look at that. The back buckles. And this is what I mean. Oh, but now look at this. Oh, wait, hold on. Alice, last ditch effort. Power bomb on the outside. Now, Alice, wait, what are you doing? Alice. Diving headbutt to the outside. And now look at this, Alice looking to put this away. You don't have time to be showboating. You've got to put this away. But oh wait, oh the knee. And now look at this, Nova. Looking for these gut wrenches. And just look at this. Going into the cover. One, two, no. We are down to the last minute of this matchup. Now look at this. Oh wait, hold on. Alice. Look at that. Quick cover. One, two, no. 
And this is the thing. These two are going to be going for quick covers right here because we are running out of time. Alice Impaler DDT. One, two, no way. No way Nova is still kicking out. And now Alice looking to put this away. Not a lot of time left. One of these two needs to go for the death nail. There's the poison runner. Oh boy, hold on. Nova. Nova, you're wasting too much time. It went for the Nova bomb. Couldn't get it though. And now Alice kicked to the gut. Poltergeist, but there's no time left. It's a draw. You know, I'm going to get a little corny for a second, so just, just bear with me, all right? A man once said, if you had one shot, one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted, would you capture it or would you just let it go? And that's always sat with me, all right? That, that's something that I have lived by since I first started wrestling. I was one of the first guys that this company hired to be a part of the extra initiative, I guess you could say. To be one of the guys that they built into becoming the main eventer of the future. And I was also one of the first guys from extra to come up to the main roster. And I was also the first guy from extra to become the world heavyweight champion. Or the shadow champion. Because nobody recognizes it. Nor do I. I mean, I held it for like two minutes. And that's always sat on me. Like, you know, that, that sat with me. That's weighed on me. For years, right? I've never been able to focus. Because every time I get an opportunity, something or someone costs me the shot. I win the world title. Eric Damson gets the match restarted. I get a shot at the IC title. My best friend slams me through an electrical box. I finally win the IC title and suddenly everything feels like it's going my way. And then all of a sudden, Stanley Owens becomes the, the, the hot commodity. And no shade to that man. He deserves everything that he's had. But it did. It, 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 it weighed on me. And now now this year I was one second away from becoming world's champion and then Bob Parks proved to the world that he is the biggest fucking scumbag in existence by colluding by getting a group of people and screwing everybody else out of the championship well I hope you're happy Bob because you know, you might be the world champion now. But come the end of this X Factor tournament, you're going to be looking at the guy who is going to take that championship away from you. That's if you even make it past the rumble. So now, I've got my block to think about. And there are a lot of guys there that I'm a little bit worried about. You know, Ryan Shamrock, the man who I've gone to war with many a time, and a man who, I'll keep it real, I didn't respect him the first time I, I met him because he, 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 you know, he, he insulted me. He slated the company that I have carried the flag for for years. But by wrestling him and by figuring out who he was, I, 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 you know, I, I gained some respect for the man. Then there's Byron Poland, you know, the man that gave me the opportunity to even wrestle in here, you know, a man who has done a lot and a man who I've never wrestled and, you know, he's, he's on his retirement run and I've always wanted to wrestle him. I know he's going to give 110% regardless of how his body's feeling and when I step into the ring with that man, you best believe it's going to be something special. But my first opponent is a man who is as focused at getting to the world championship as I am. And I think that's fun. I think that's interesting. And I can't wait to see what Shane Torres brings to the table. Because again, this is a guy that I haven't wrestled before. And you would think that I have. You would think that two guys who have been in this company for over six years, you, you, you'd think that we would have wrestled each other by now, but our paths have never crossed. So Shane, take all that anger, take all that frustration, 
and use it to try and beat my ass because I'm going to do the exact same thing. I've got a lot of frustration and a lot of anger built up that I'm going to use to get point after point after point. So Shane, bring your best, I'll bring mine, and we'll see who starts this tournament off with three points, shall we? This whole tournament's a joke, my block's a joke, and that's the, the, the god honest truth, okay? You're looking at the man who has the most reason to want to win this tournament out of anybody. I don't want to hear any crappy sub stories about how Stanley Owens is like, eh, but Parks took everything from me. And I don't want to hear Trent X's stupid fucking, eh, but Parks colluded against all of us. At least you guys have had world title shots. At least you guys have, like, well, Stanley has been world champion before. Do you want to know how many shots I've had at the world's championship? Since being here for six years, not a single one. I've been in tournaments for the belt. I've been in number one contenders matches for the belt. I've been in rumbles for contendership. But I've never won a shot at the belt. I've never been in a world title match before. And that weighs on you. Because when you're the guy that's supposedly the king of hardcore, and I still am to this day, I don't care who's holding that belt, or who has held the belt longer than I have, which is, uh, you know, nobody. But when you're just labeled the king of hardcore, and that's all this company wants you to be, you start to realize maybe there's a reason they don't want you to be the world's heavyweight champion. Maybe there's a reason why nobody wants you to be the top guy. And it's because they know that if I get that world's heavyweight championship, nobody is ever going to win. You thought Braxton's 15 defenses in 500 days was something to be marveled? You just wait until I win this entire thing. And here's the thing, I, I heard what Trent had to say and I, I, I heard him and it feels like he's treating me like a joke. Bring, bring your best, bring your anger and aggression. You don't want that, Trent. You don't want this, but I do, because you're just the first. Like, I've got Ryan Shamrock in this tournament, a man who I gave a concussion because he dared to go for my championship. And then you have Byron Poland, a man who, if he dares step in the ring with me, I'll make sure he doesn't make it to Kingdom of Glory 2. And Trent. You're the guy I, I have the least amount of anger towards. But just you wait. Because I am going to tear you limb from limb. And I'll make sure that it, it's not even a case of you don't get three points in this match. You're not going to get three points at all. I'm going to hurt you so bad you don't make it to the rest of this tournament. And I'm going to do it to Shamrock. And I'm going to do it to Byron. And I'll walk out of my block with a bye to the finals, I guess. Because if there's only three people, then I'll make it all the way to the finals and I'll win. And I'll finally get what this company keeps holding from me. I cannot believe that we have never had this match before. In six years of these two being on the same roster... And six years of these two inter- Why well, wouldn't even say interacting? But just six years of these two having almost parallel but separate paths. I would have at least thought that these two would have fought before. But no, turns out tonight is the first time ever that Trent X and Shane Torres step into the ring against each other. And I, I, I still can't believe that to this day. But anyway, this is a man that is fired up. This is a man who feels like he has been screwed out of opportunity after opportunity. And hey, tonight is the night that he can potentially get himself a very very sturdy foundation within this tournament of course we know at the moment the leader of the men's a block is byron poland with three points 
if one of these two men picks up the win, then they will join him. But if we get a result like we just had, then it makes it even more difficult to get to that final, to get to those knockout stages. Because we might talk about how Trentex is focused. We might talk about how that man feels as though it is his time. It is almost his destiny to become the world's heavyweight champion. We have to look at the man making his way down to the ring right now, Shane Torres. This is a man who ran a rough shot over Gene Jackson, who is somebody who has been growing over the years, somebody who came up from the academy, and now he is looking to run rough shot over the A block. And here's the thing, right? This is a very unpredictable block, because you have a guy like Shane Torres, but... You also have guys like Trent. Both of those are hungry. You've got Ryan Shamrock, who is also incredibly hungry to prove that he belongs in the main event scene. And then you have Byron, who is just here not only to screw over Shane Torres in this tournament, apparently. Not only there to screw over people in terms of you know, a, a lot of things, but, you know, Byron's also just here to have a good time and to potentially retire as world champion. That's what he's hoping to do, but anyway, that's not what we're focused on. What we're focused on is first time ever, Trentex, Shane Torres. A block, and right now, look at this, oh, back elbow. Trent squaring up to him. And here's the thing. Shane has the height advantage. He might also have the weight advantage. But in terms of strength, let me tell you, you cannot outpower Trent X. It just doesn't happen. This man. Oh my god, wait a minute. No. No shot. Not already. Oh my god. Shane is manhandling Trent right now. And look at this. He, he, he's telling Trent to bring it right now. And oh, look at this. He obliges. Oh, my God. Look at Trent go. And now, look at this. Trent X firing himself up. Oh, wait. Hold on. Does a little lap. And now, look at this. The dive to the outside. Lands on his feet. Oh my god, it, it's insane how freakish of an athlete Trent X is. He's got strength, he's got agility, he's got everything that you want to see in a wrestler. And look at this right here. Trent X is somebody who has been climbing, somebody who has been working to get an opportunity to call himself the number one, to call himself the world's heavyweight champion. And if Shane thinks that he is going to hand Trent a loss, he is going to have to bring it here tonight. As look at this. Oh, but now look at this. Oh, wait, oh, Shane with the headbutt into the clothesline. And here's the thing. I, I, I believe that Trent might already be bleeding. Oh my god. It's right now, look at this from Shane looking for the knee. Oh no, wait, hold on. Trent with the sidestep and now what's he looking to do? Oh wait, hold on. Catch him overhead, belly to belly. And once again, there's that strength. There's that strength that I believe is unparalleled by anybody on the roster. As Trent right now is essentially, he is having his way with Shane, but Shane, oh, look at that, over the top. I don't know. Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, Trent? Trent's bringing Shane to the outside. I'm not sure how wise that is, but okay. Oh, there's the knee to the jaw. Now, wait, oh. Oh, my God. Yeah, I think you can start to see it there. I think the blood is starting to form. 
near the eye of Trent X, and that is not good. Let's look at this, Shane. Oh my God! Showing that he also has strength. I'm not saying that Shane doesn't have strength. He definitely does. But Trent is a is a freak of nature. That that's something, right? And oh my God! Wait, what is he looking to do? Oh my God! The knee to the head. And Shane is basically saying, if you cannot get up to your feet, I do not want to fight you anymore. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, Trent. Back in. He's not done. Look at this. Back elbow. Now look at this. Trent bringing the shots right now. Bringing the fight. Bringing the strikes. But once again, the headbutt from Shane. These two are going shot for shot, move for move, and now what's Trent looking to do? Oh my god! Launching suplex right there. And look at that, there's some big time shots to the head of Shane. Oh, shoulder tackle in the corner. Into the knee. I think Shane might also be busted open now. Oh, wait, hold on. Tiger Driver. One, two. Oh, we're only a one. Oh, my God. Now, look at this. Oh, wait, hold on, Trent. Bring the shots. Oh, no, wait, hold on, Court. Oh, my God, that discus lariat from close range. Oh, no. Kamagoye from Shane. One. Two, no. We are five minutes into this matchup. Both men are bleeding like mad. Both of these men are just battering the hell out of each other. But you know what? I didn't expect anything less here tonight. And I don't think a lot of people were expecting anything less. That's right now. Oh, no shame. Oh, right to the wound. see it right now. Shane is lavishing in the fact but whilst Trent started off quite hot, it really has been the Shane Torres show for most of this matchup so far. Oh, but now, oh, wait, hold on. Trent. Trent, what are you doing? Look at this. Oh my God. This is what I mean. Trentex is a freak of nature. There is no other way to describe this man. Look at this. Oh my god, he's not done. Oh my god, this is like a 280 pound man that he is just lifting, deadlifting above his head. If you don't believe that Trentex deserves to be in the upper echelons of this company if you don't believe that Trent doesn't like if you don't believe Trent has the skill to call himself a world champion I don't know what you're seeing no oh, there's the spear one two Shane having a kick out and right now Trent Look at that, he showed a little bit of frustration, but right now, he is focused. Oh wait, oh no, oh no, he took his eye off the ball for a second. And now, oh wait, hold on, Shane's got him caught with the chops right to the jaw. And now could be thinking, end of the road. Sorry, not end of the road, not end of the road. One, two, no. He went for that knee, which is still just as lethal. And now, oh no, now he could be fingering end of the road. Oh wait, what? What are you about to do? Oh! Oh, that was a sickening impact right there. And now Shane lines up the shot and for... Oh, oh, oh. 
Off for Trent, that could have been the end of the road. But no, look at this. Trent realizing the situation and now realizes he might need to just slow the match down for a second. Got a hold locked in and all now, look at this, wrenching back on it. Shane needs to use his weight to his advantage here. Trent might be strong at lifting. But I don't know how he can outstrength on the ground. That's something that Trent doesn't really do all that much. All right now, oh, big headbutt there from Shane. That is uh, Shane Torres to a T right there. Now what's he looking to do? Oh, big chop. And now look at this. Shot's coming in. And now immediately... Fujiwara locked in on Trent, but Trent able to extend to the ropes. But Shane, look at that, wasting no time, stalking his prey to knee to the skull once again. And that's the, oh no, not again, not again, another Kamagoye. But he's not done. Oh wait, hold on, Trent turns it around. And now look at this, Saul went for the elbow, couldn't get it though. Into the knee from Shane. And now wait, oh, oh, he could have been thinking end of the road there. But trip with a belly to belly. Now wait, oh, what's Trentex looking to do here? Sending, sending Shane into the corner. Superman punch. Went for a lariat there into another spear. One, two, no. And at what point do you start to think that the spear's not going to do it? Because Shane, you've got to think about who Shane's enemy in this, in this block is. Who Shane's biggest rival is at the moment, and that's Byron. Byron is the spear merchant. Shane has probably been prepping to, to endorse Spears because that's what you have to do against Byron. So he's effectively eliminated one of Trent's best maneuvers. Oh, the knee and the... Oh, my God. I feel like Shane might have just knocked Trent out right there. Oh, and he's not done. Oh, and Shane's not done. Oh my god! This is what Shane Torres does, guys. Oh my goodness me. Shane is a sadistic, sadistic son of a bitch. And he shows that every single time he's in the ring. Oh wait, hold on, Trent! Oh! Chop block to the knee brace. No, wait, hold on. Trent. Trent, oh my god. How the hell does Trent still have the strength to do all of that? Oh no, Trent. Trent, spear on the outside. Shane might be a sadistic son of a bitch, but you're looking at resilient one in the form of Trent X. Now gets him back into the ring, thinks this could be over, goes into the cover. One, two, no. We are nearly 12 minutes into this matchup right here. And Trent now stalking his prey. Not sure what he's looking to do here. Oh, on the turnbuckle. Look at that. He's having fun with it right now. And once again, watch this. Look at this. Just deadlifting a 280 pound man like it's nothing. Oh my god, but Shane back up to his feet with the drop kick. And now calling Trent up to his feet. Combination. Now look at this. Oh my god. Wait, hold on. Big shot there from Trent. Back elbow. Look at this. He's bringing the shots right now. And once again, a relief suplex. Stomping away on Shane. 
And now, wait, what the hell are you doing? Trent going up top. Oh, went for the splash. Into the knee. And now Shane, what's he looking to do? Sends him into the corner. And now, oh no. Oh God. Oh! Back breaker one, two, no. I agree with the crowd here. What a matchup this has been. What a night this has been. And now a neck breaker from Shane. Picking up Trent. Oh, wait, on oh, big knee right there. And now this could be Trent's moment to get something going for himself. Could be thinking another relief suplex. There it is. And Trent, belly to belly, going into the cover here. One, two, no. Over 14 minutes, these two have been fighting. Headbutt there from Trent. Headbutt from Shane. Now, oh my god, what is Shane looking to do? Oh my god, again! Now look at this, Shane just telling Trent to get back up to his feet. Shane isn't even following him, he thinks Trent's out, man. But Trent up to a knee. Trent back in the ring. And look at this. Shane telling him to bring it. Back elbow. Big time chop. Another back elbow. Another chop. Goes for it. Keeps chopping up. Wait, hold on. Trent gets out of the way. Catches him. Up. X effect. One. Two. Trent gets it. Trent X picks up three points. What a matchup that was. The X effect coming in clutch. Trent is gushing blood right now. He earned those three points. We're going to move on to our main event. But first, the pre-match interviews. You know, it's nice to actually have an interview and to actually be able to talk without risk of being interrupted, risk of my words being twisted against me, and just being able to speak my mind and not have to worry about everything else that's going on around here. You see, it's been over five years since I won a championship. And that, that, that's crazy to me, right? Well, maybe more like four but five years for CEW anyway. And that's a long time. You know, I've been trying to get back to that belt time in and time out. And for a while, it, it, it was all I could think about. It was the thing that consumed me to the point where I did take shortcuts. You know, I, I worked with Ace Fulton. I, I joined Control Atav. Whether that was by my own doing or not, you can figure that out for yourself, right? And then I realized I don't have to take all of those shortcuts to be the champion that I, I, I know I can be. I knew I could do things the right way. And I know I've done a lot of wrong. And I know I've hurt a lot of people, both mentally, emotionally, and physically. But I can change. And I have changed. And, you know, I, I, I've gone through a lot. And this is my shot of redemption. I have a bracket and I have a block of people who all want my head, basically. Because that's what this tournament's all about. You've got Kimberly Casanova who's working with Daniel King, and I can see a lot of myself, a lot of my early self in Kimberly Casanova. Somebody who will stop at nothing to get what she wants. Then you have somebody like Amara Levi, who I see a lot of Amy in. You know, somebody who's young, who is hungry for an opportunity, and will do what she has to do to get it done. And then you have Tony Taylor. Somebody who, in my core, I hate. Because violent regime. Because control atav. Because of the unholy alliance. And it just... 
it sits heavily on me. That people think I'm worse than this unholy alliance. That people think that I'm some sort of backstabbing manipulator and I'm going to show my true colours eventually when all I want is for that unholy alliance to fall. And if beating Tony Taylor is the way that that happens, then that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to beat Tony Taylor, I'm going to get three points, and I'm going to move one step closer to winning the Women's World Championship. All I'm hearing from everybody in this tournament is, Oh, I deserve to win because either I'm the best or because I've had a lot and I, I, I've trained hard. I deserve to win this tournament because I'm the best person in this tournament. Simple as, right? I mean, in theory, I don't even have to do this tournament. I was a part of the winning team in Invictus Games, and if I wanted the Women's World Championship, then I could just fight for it. But I'm not going to do that. Because doing that proves nothing. You know, I almost beat Mayu Shigata at Fight Forever, and people forget that. I then ended up actually beating Mayu Shigata at Invictus. But once again, nobody wants to talk about that. So I'm going to make people talk about me. Talk about the violent regime. Talk about how we're about to have a stranglehold on women's wrestling. Christina Dean has the women's IC title and she's about to go on an absolute rampage. You just wait and see. And then I'm going to win this tournament. I'm going to go on to Kingdom of Glory 2. And for the first time in six years, in over six years, I will call myself the Women's World Champion. Because I was the first. I was the first Women's World Champion when this women's division was nothing. I was selected to keep this division alive. And ever since then, people have thrived based on my work. People have a spot here because of me. And I'm going to make sure that none of you get the spot of Kingdom of Glory 2 because of me. So, you know, I've got Kyrie as my first opponent. Kyrie Sampson, you know, the, the person who believes that she carried this division on her back. But she was merely just following the blueprint that I left. And that's the thing. I don't, I don't believe what everybody says, that you're a snake in the grass. No, 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 I, I believe that you have changed. But you've changed for the worst. You're weak now. You care about people, and that's your problem. And I'm going to use that to my advantage. And I'm going to kick your head in. I'm going to beat you. And I'm going to ride that momentum all the way to winning this tournament. Just you wait and see. Well, it is officially main event time. And it as oh my god, I can't talk. It's been a long day, it's been a long show, it's been a great show. But we have women's A block action as making our way down to the ring first. It is Kyrie Sampson who believes that this is the best way of proving to the world that she really has changed and well I, I I can see why she would believe that. You know, I, I do believe I you know I, I fully get it, you know. Cause she could take uh, an easy way out in this tournament. She could take many easy way out uh, ways out actually. But it's gonna be interesting to see what Kyrie brings to this tournament, of course. She hasn't been women's world champion for five years and every time she's gone after that belt something has happened that has not allowed her to, to become the champion but speaking of people who haven't been champion in a long time is the first ever CEW women's champion it is Tony Taylor and Tony has been climbing up the ranks since joining the violent regime this is somebody who went from just being another name to being one of the biggest threats on the roster. She almost beat Mayu for the Women's World Championship at Fight Forever. She was integral to Sky's team winning it in Victor's Games and tonight 
she could very well pick up three points in a massive way by beating Kyrie Sampson. This is a massive matchup. You're looking at two people who laid down the foundation for what we see today in the CEW women's division. We're talking two of the pillars, I would say, of the CEW women's division in the sense that they laid down the foundation. So look at this, Kyrie nonchalant, Tony Taylor focused. I'm going to take a quick sip before we get into this. Immediately into the snap suplex. Not even a one though. Oh, but now look at this. I'll wait on Kyrie. Oh, with the clothesline. Into the STO. And here's the thing. We've been seeing quite a few long matches here tonight. Of course, Alice Redson, Alexis Nova going the full 20. Trent X, Shane Torres going like 16 minutes. And, uh, well, hey, Stanley Owens and Vasco, they might not have gone super, super long, but they went about 10 minutes and they beat the hell out of each other. So, oh, big uppercut there from Tony Taylor. It's going to be interesting to see what these two do. I can't remember the last time these two faced each other in a one-on-one. -on -one. My God, Kyrie with the, with the exploder suplex. And look at this. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, look at that. Giving Tony room to get back into the ring. You know what? That, this is what I mean by it really does. You know, I, I know a lot of people question it, but it really does feel like Kyrie has changed, you know? The, the, the Kyrie of old, the Kyrie that was either a part of Control of Tav or was being managed by Ace Fulton. She would have gone for the kill, but... Is Tony Taylor right that... The way that Kyrie has changed has made her weak. I, I don't know. We're going to find out tonight, though. It's, oh, wait, hold on. Oh, my God. What a running knee. One. Oh, only a one. Only a one, though. It's now, wait, hold on. Kyrie, oh, wait. Looking for saying, oh, no. Caught the hip toss, though. And now, oh, went for the standing moonsault. Oh, running knee right there from Kyrie. Now look at that, sending Tony into the corner. And now look at this. Kyrie bringing the aggression. Here's the thing, right? I know a lot of people want to talk about Kyrie's win loss record. In terms of singles matches recently, Kyrie is on a little bit of a roll. Um. You know, oh wait, oh look at that nice pop-up runner on, on the part of Tony Taylor, who has also been on a, a tremendous roll recently. Now look at this old drop kick to the back there. And now what are we about to see? Oh wait, oh no. Oh! Half and half spiking Kyrie on the outside. And good God almighty. Tony Taylor is not playing around. And I mean, we, we knew that from the start. We knew that from the interviews. Oh my God, she is not playing around full stop. Good God. Look at this. Just showboating away now. Oh, well, wait. Is she going for a dive? No, no, no. There's the fake out. Kyrie back in the ring. But caught him another hip toss. Oh, and now going after the arm. And this really, at the moment, is Tony Taylor's world. And we are just living in it right now. That's right now. Look at this. Tony just going to work on the legs. As we are... Uh, Basically four minutes into this matchup, but Kyrie now, look at this, start the fight back. Going in on the chest, and to be fair, I mean, hey, it makes sense. She has that call of chaos. And now, wait, oh, Kyrie, oh, wait, what? Kyrie! Jesus Christ! One! 
two. Oh my god. And that's one way to change the momentum of this matchup. Hit a goddamn tombstone pile driver. That'll do it. And here's the thing. I thought the momentum might have just shifted after that tombstone. And I think Kyrie realizes there is no need for formalities in this matchup. Oh, could have been thinking the inverted uh, Olympic slam there. Couldn't get it though. Now, Tony, what's she looking to do? Oh, Lufez press. Oh, my God. Big shots right to the, the, the jaw there. And now, a weight abdominal stretch. Trying to wear down Kyrie here. This is very smart. You know, we've still got a lot of time left on that timer. So, you know, just wear down your opponent. Oh, but now, look at this. Oh, wait, Kyrie. Oh, look at that. With the hip toss and now turn around. Dragon Sleeper from Kyrie. Locked in right here and Tony's struggling. You want to talk about wearing down your opponent? This is a move that can put your opponent away if you lock it in for long enough. All right, now I'll wait on oh, Tony able to break free. Oh, kick to the back. Moment of separation. Oh, the big boot. One, two, no. And there's that frustration setting in. And now Tony Taylor going up top. Oh, went for the splash. And Kyrie looking to capitalize, going to work here. Realizing that she is in a good spot right here. And now Kyrie going up top. What's she looking for? Moonsault coming in. Going into the cover now. One. Ref. Two. Uh, ref a little slow on the count. Not sure why that's the case, but, uh, but all right. Look at this though, Kyrie. Oh my God, what a lariat right there. My God. Now, wait, hold on, Kyrie. Inverted Olympic slam. One, two, no. As we are. You know, I, I, I know I keep bringing up the time. Oh, wait, hold on. Kyrie, what's she looking for? Oh, wait, a little cartwheel. Swing low. Sweet lariat. Referee a little slow there. No. Oh, big pump kick right there from Tony Taylor. Now we're on into the corner of the knee. Into a lariat. Now, what is Tony Taylor looking to do? Oh, wait, old Fisherman Suplex going into the cover. One, two, no. Now, look at this. Oh, wait, Tony bringing the fight. And oh, snap, Dragon. One, two, no. And Kyrie is struggling right now. Because Tony knows what she's got to do. And that is going after the head of Kyrie. And now, oh, wait, look at that. Psych out. Another lariat right there. Oh, and now, look at this. Tony wasted no time. Could be thinking the black magic. Could be looking to put this away. Kyrie drops to a knee. Black magic to the back of the head. One, two... No! Kyrie staying alive in this fight. We get a women's wrestling chant. As now it's about to spill to the outside here. As what is Tony about to do? 
Pulls Kyrie up. Kyrie trying to fight a way up. And now, oh, oh my God, the blockbuster. Jesus. And now look at that, just into the barricade. Into the barricade and now into the steps as well. Tony is on a warpath right now. And Kyrie is struggling. Oh my god, another boot! Kyrie once again is just in trouble here. As the as the crowd it, it, it's starting to hush. It feels like this is over here. One, two. Kyrie stays alive though. And the crowd are starting to wake up once again. As this crowd is firmly behind Kyrie Sampson here tonight. But it really isn't looking good. As right now, Tony is just imposing her will. Now, wait, hold on. Wait, Kyrie. Oh, clothesline. There's another one. There's one more. In the corner. Oh, big time back elbow. Oh, Meteor in the corner. Kyrie is fighting back right now. Inverted Olympic slam. Not done though. Realizing it's going to take more than that. Brain Buster. Oh, wait, hold on. Not done. Kick to the gut. Looking for it. Call of Chaos. One, two. Tony kicks out though. You can see it there. The frustration on Kyrie's face. But I'll wait. Hold on. Looking for another one. Oh my god. Another brain buster. Now kick to the gut once again. No breathing room for Tony Taylor. A second call of chaos. One, two. Kyrie gets the three points. What a matchup right there between those two. What a show it's been here tonight. I've been commentator Byron. This has been the X Factor Tournament, or at least the first, well, a part of it. And I will see you all next time.